Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yoda Summit 2. Today we have a special video. Now I said I was going to do this because I've been lacking kind of special videos for a bit. So we are here at John Deere woodcutting place. It is quite loud so I'm going to get in the cab. And we have, it's not a long journey but it's a long trailer. Put it that way. So Let's go pick it up. And here we are, it's the Vattenfall Rotorblade, which basically means rotor blade for a windmill, I guess. Uh, it's five minutes, we've only just got this. Alright. Bloody hell. It's already got beacons going on it. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It's that big. Look, it's got a split trailer. That is cool. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of here, but we'll see. Thing. Uh, it's it's big. Um, fits quite well, I guess. That's what we need for definite. Shit ton of beacons. Um, it's quite awkward. Though, isn't it? This out. It's only 19 tons, so it's not that heavy, it's just so long. Ooh. Wow, look at that, that trail's just spawned there. So I've only just got this in time. So let's get going then. So it's 220 miles going from Southampton to somewhere in France. I have just got to watch. Be careful. See if I can get a picture here. Might not be the only screenshot I take, but that's the one for the moment. Oh, 
Oh, that daft. He's got quite a good trailer as well. Thought he was going to plough straight into me then. Volvo VNL there. All right then, so let's let's talk because talking is something. Um, so basically, this weekend, Farming Simulator 15 Let's Play Season One starts. So that's that's a new thing coming to the channel. Um, Obviously, you have been waiting. Um, I mean, I did stop the 2013 Let's Play early on this year because, you know, it just got. It just seemed to be getting a bit stale and boring. I don't think people were really interested. So I thought, you know what, let's stop it. Let's wait for 15 and we'll start all fresh again, which is exactly what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Uh, mod shows for Farming Simulator 15 start on Monday. Uh, obviously, we ended 2013 last Monday. Because there's no more mods for 2013 to do. LS2013, the mod site that I got most of my 2013 mods from, doesn't exist anymore. It's just been converted to 2015. LS2013 is nowhere to be found. I can't find the mods, I can't find the site pretty much gone which is like that site kind of provided 80% of my family similar 2013 mod show videos so it is a shame I'm not going to delete them I have said that already I am going to keep them so people who want to watch because the thing is that those mods they get re-uploaded everywhere it doesn't matter if it just say in the bottom, do not re-upload, people will do it. Because that's what people are like. So, you're guaranteed to be able to find it from somewhere, honestly. But, so that's why I'm keeping the video so you can watch my review, then search the name, because I always use the name of the mod in the title and the description. You can go and find that mod. You know, type that into Google, Family Simulator 2013 mod, that name. You know, 90% of the time you're probably going to find it. That's why I did it. FSUK 2013 mod still exists, so you find there. So yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else with two. Um, Farm Simulator 15. I don't know how the season, how long the season's going to last. I haven't really decided, I mean I left it up to you and I didn't really get many responses, um, I got someone who were like, you could do this but you could do this as well, it's like, a straight answer would be nice, and I didn't really get many of those so I might just decide for myself, at the end of the day I'm doing it, it is kind of up to me, but I do want to, I do want to tailor it for you guys, anyway, so I don't, I don't, I don't know how long they're going to last, what I'm going to do with them, I'll just decide when I record it later on. Oh, whoa, shit, 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 I felt the trail bounce. No, no, parking brake. <laughs> uh. Fucking nice start. Let's see if I can get a picture here. 
and I'll uh, I'll just decide later on which ones I'm gonna use. That's a nice one. It's not like the one I wanted, but well. That's actually quite a good photo, that. I like that. I just wish it was the other way around, so I put the name of the, uh, the wind turbine on it, but I can't have everything. So yeah, that's Farming Simulator 15 covered. Your Trix only to 2. 1.14 is still not out yet. I didn't opt into the beta because a lot of the mods will break and obviously there hasn't been updates provided for those mods yet. Um, pro mods are... They're not hiding. They're uh, they're busy. I think they're on holiday or something so they they haven't got their work computer so they can't really update the mod yet. So that's one reason. I don't think the Russian map's updated to it yet. I don't think the Poland rebuilding is. Um, so there's really, really no point yet. Obviously, when it does come out, hopefully they'll all update at once, which would just be amazing. I can download them all at once and be happy. All right, you're not indicated to go that way. But when 1.14 does come out, like I always do, I usually try and do an update video the same day and it go out on the same day, instead of waiting while Euro Truck's meant to go out. But then that usually that usually means whenever it comes out closer, so if it comes out on a Tuesday, I will drop Thursday's video of Euro Truck, which I did this week and I'll tell you why in a minute. And what say if it come out on Tuesday, Tuesday's video, which is meant to be spin tires would go out on a Thursday, which usually happens anyway. So, um, yeah that's that, 1.14. Why didn't I, um, why didn't I make a video on Thursday? Well, basically, I had stuff that was personal, you know, in my personal and private life that needed to come first and I had to drop this and why did and you're probably asking as well why did useful stupid look at that stupid Who puts a sign there Are you gonna let me all go Oh no. They should let me all go. He just stopped randomly. Fine. Let me just get around this round because I need to concentrate. Hmm, I'm sure in like road laws that is not legal. You know. Yeah, yeah, great. Just do that. Pillock. Just come down freaking outside, for God's sake. Ow. So, yeah, why did spin tyres go out on a Thursday and why did... Uh, Wednesday and why did Watchdog go out on a Thursday? Well, I, rec I, I had spin tyres recorded and edited. I just, just forgot to upload it, honestly. It got to about 10 o'clock at night and I was like, oh shit, I haven't, I haven't uploaded this and I just didn't have time. So it went out on Wednesday and obviously that pushed Watchdogs onto Thursday, which didn't matter anyway because I, I couldn't record your truck anyway, so you was without a video on Tuesday really. There we go. 
Yes, that's that reason. I just hope at the other side we're not coming out near that windy bit because that will just be a pain. Wrong button. Sherbog. And we're going there. So, yeah. Not that one. That's a uh, nice exit. Turn all the lights off, I don't need them. Oh, Jesus. This is like the real tight village that we have to go through. With this thing. I mean, it's... it's you know, it's like kind of a challenge going through with a standard trailer. Never mind this thing. for a challenge. Let's go. Freaking hell. You know what? I'm just tempted to do this. Let's take it slowly. I mean, that's what they do. Anyway. They do that in our country. Um, of not roundabouts, like those roundabouts that are basically just like painted into the floor. Then there's no like solid asphalt or concrete or whatever. It's just paint. They drive over it. They're like you might as well just have a four-way junction there instead of one of those. Cause only little cars and that'll go around it. But big lorries, buses, and that, just, pff, no point really. Let's go. I just hit that car. Yep. <laughs> Completely forgot them. This is a challenging bit. Ah! This bit is not the problem really, it's just like a little island that you have to get by. Which is fine. It's this corner here. Oh god, that was close. This corner, not so bad because I can go into the other lane. So the next one, where it's, it's got an island between it, so you've, just, you've got to stay in your lane. There's no other option. The bad thing is you can't see the cars coming around here. Oh, you waited, thank you. I'm just gonna have to do this. No, some idiot might just come down there. Great. Oh, it's tightening, it's tightening, it's tightening. Ow. Look at 
that. Well, it would have been better if you were just going up that lane, but then I would have had to have... You, you know, if this game was played realistically, and there was police escorts and that, you would be able to go up that lane because the police would block the road off for miles ahead, so, you know, you could work your way around. Ah. Damage the trailer. So that's fun. Got a squeaky, uh, squeaky, squeaky chair today. I don't know why. We've done like just over 100 miles and it's took us like nearly half an hour. I think we'll make back some time now because I can just drive. I think it's all motorway there now. I'm going to slow down here because this will just damage my truck going up here. agency escort and the width I think the width is is it kind of like two foot either side of a, st of a standard width trailer before they have to get a, a police escort so basically say standard width of a trailer is two meter what's that foot Oh my god. What the actual... What the fuck? <laughs> you tell me that doesn't fit? Now I'm gonna to have to do some cheat cheating. Um So basically we did all this for nothing because we just failed. Oh well. Nice view up here. So if any of you wanted to know what the map looks like, here you go. So we went under here. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Here we are. Stuck like a lemon. Here we are. Fixed. Look at that magic. There we go. I'm surprised that didn't like rip the trailer. Bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, when you are um, driving this trailer, don't go under bridges like that. Try to avoid them. Obviously, that was... I don't think you could avoid that. I don't think there was any other route around it. But just know that is one of the problems you will face. And the way to get out of it is that. What I just did.
This is quite nice, driving through here. Oh, I'm going to hit that bus. <laughs> Look at that. Big chrome tanker. That's, that causes frame issues. Guaranteed, because it's chrome. And chrome things always carry the, um, the frame problem. It does in this game, does in... Um, Family simulator. Why do all those people in there have bright pink heads? They're in like morph suits. I can't catch up. They're pulling away. Who's going down there? Look at that. Look at that. Pink people. to UPS, didn't have like a sign or anything there. Oh look at that petrol station! Look at that! That is cool. Right, let's just uh, go in here. Hello, normal people on the bus. Pretty sure that's not how you park it, but oh, I forgot you have the, you do have the overhang there. Hmm. I forget about that. Come on, then. late. Hmm. <laughs> Still got twelve grand. They knocked a grand off for being late, but only two hundred and fifty-one. Euro for for the damage. What? I'm sure damage is like more than being late, surely. Oh, I don't know. Nice drive. Move that here. Uh, no, I haven't picked up the garage here. Wanker. Yeah, that was my fault, and that was my fault too, but we don't speak about it. I think I'm waiting on all that. I don't need garages anymore, because I can just teleport using the console, but... It's like Pokemon, you've got to get them all, so that's why I do it. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for your summit 2 today. We have done the wind turbine trailer, I don't know, it begins with a B. Link will be in the description, go get it. It's a good trailer, I like how they've modelled it. I think it's cool, it represents something you'd see in real life with the split trailer and the overhanging load at the back with the, the beacon, actually you know, fix the load like a magnet. So I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, go get that. It's a pretty good mod. I'll, I'll leave it installed and I'll probably end up using it again. 
But that is it for now, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Yorkshire Slimmer 2. Ta ra.